Okay, all good. Okay, welcome to the South Africa EVA match briefing here at uh, Marseille Stadium. Uh, as I said, put your hand up for a microphone and ask the question, and we'll go straight into questions. First question, please. Question, you are. Jindile uh, Yander Kuning, we'll start with you. Um, how's the mood in the camp uh, ahead of this game? I mean, we, we know what the importance are. Is this on? Yeah. Uh, what is the mood like? Is, is it one of expectation or are you guys quite calm? Yeah, yeah and I think the mood is a test week mood. You know, a very important game. Playing against Tonga, this could be our last conference if we don't win the game. So that's how serious it is. So we've had a good week of preparations. And the nice thing is that from the island game, we had an extra day, you know, we had an eight-day turnaround. So as coaching staff, we could go deep into Tonga. And, uh, but once again, I think uh, the vibe in our camp, boys are in a good space. Uh, to be honest with you, even though the results were not on our side, you know, but in the manner we played against Ireland, you know, uh, it was a very, very tough game, you know, probably one of the best group stages games. Uh, uh, but once again, it, it's a test week for us, and uh, once again, we, we, we took this week uh, very, very serious because, like I said, this could be our last chance, you know. So, yeah, but we up and ready for the game. You obviously had a chance to look at Tonga quite a bit, and uh, obviously they've now named their team. Give us some of the expectations of, of uh, Tonga, and I mean, we know they're a physical guy in the type yeah. of game they play. Give us some of the expectations. Yeah, big forwards. Uh, Look at a guy like uh, Tamai Funa there, you know, probably they've got probably one of the best scrums in the competition and their back line, they've got some X Factor there, star players that played all blacks in the past. You know, if you look at a guy like Charles Peter at the back, you know, if you give him time and space, he will destroy you. You know, a guy like uh, uh, Malakai Fekitoa, experience. Uh, I think they are, they, they've got good uh, X Factor players in that team, you know, so. But once again, for us as a Springbok, even the team that we've selected, you know, uh, I think it's a strong physical team that can probably also apply pressure at them, not just to handle it. That's not our goal. The, our goal is also to put them under pressure, you know. So yeah, they've got X factor. So if you're not, if you're not switch on for the game, you, you'll probably struggle. You know, we don't want to make it a, a a long hustle. You know, we want to be clinical. We want to pitch up on the game with their right intensity and make sure that if we get opportunities we have to capitalize i think that's something that against ireland we didn't do well you know uh, if you look at our 22 meter entries in ireland uh 22 where we didn't convert them into points so that's something that we need to work on so tomorrow if we create those opportunities we just need to make sure that we convert them into points in french right is okay. possible Gentlemen. that's what Dwayne. <laughs> <laughs> from Toulon euh, est-ce que ce match est aussi une façon de préparer même s'il y a une qualification en jeu de préparer les quarts de finale euh, aussi euh, de votre côté et est-ce que ça justifie aussi euh, autant de, de changements un petit peu dans l'équipe euh, comparativement à l'équipe qui a joué contre l'Irlande Yeah, first things first, we, we, we need to win the game. We can't talk about the playoffs, because if we don't win this game, then there's no playoffs for us. So the main thing is to win the game so that we've got a chance to qualify. And also, we don't want to depend on other teams' results. You know, We want to be in control of our success. Uh, so that's why this game is serious for us and it's very important. So we'll probably, first things first, our goal is to win the game. And then we'll assess during the game if things are are going well for us, then we'll probably chase uh, a bit of uh, for a bonus point just to be to be safe. And uh, so I can't talk much about the playoffs, and that that is the main focus for for two for tomorrow. And what was the second question again? Mm -hmm. I forgot the second question. Oh yeah, the changes in the team. I think it's it's if you if you if you follow our team the past couple of seasons, and that's how we've been doing things. We've, we've tried to build some strong squad depth in our team, and, uh, 
And so we don't have any A and B in our squad, you know. We just know that we've got 33 players that can pitch up at any, any day when they're given an opportunity. So more especially if you look at the center partnership we've got with Moody and Andre Steisen, that is the partnership that played against All Blacks at Twickenham. So we don't really have A and B. It's, I think we've selected once again a team that is strong enough to beat to beat Tonga. Uh, the guys, they've done the job for us before, you know. So even if you look at the guys that are in that squad, you've still got your leadership group. You've got Sia, who's starting the game. You've got Dwayne, who has done the job for us many times, who's part of our leaders, and uh, Cobras, you know. So we've got a strong team to beat Tonga. Uh, but once again, <laughs> we don't have any A and B in our squad. OK, question here on the left. Morning, everyone. Uh, Dwayne, this one is for you. Have we seen the best of the box yet at this World Cup? Well, I, I would like to say no, but um, I think, you know, if you look at the Ireland game, um, I think that was a that was a match to to watch. And uh, like Coach Stoker said, I think that was that was prob po uh, probably or possibly one of the one of best pool matches. Um, so I think. Yeah, we still got something left in the tank. Um, it's one or two little small things that we need to work on. But um, but yeah, I, I can definitely definitely still say we still got some juice in the tank. And um, but yeah, it's it's gonna have to we, we're gonna have to do it this weekend and tomorrow because uh, there's no second chances. So um, we're definitely gonna have to pitch up and hopefully we can you know we can give a, a, a great performance tomorrow. Question in the back. Uh, good morning to everybody. I wanted to just get a comment from both Dwayne and Kanan on Sia's 50 caps uh, as te as captain, 50 tests as, as captain. Uh, I know that the whole team is full of leaders, uh, but obviously it's quite a special moment for Sia. Yeah, I know, uh, especially for me, um, coming when I came into the camp, you know, it was one of the first guys that came up to me and, and asked if I needed anything. That just shows how the great guy he is. So yeah, very, very proud and obviously a proud moment for him and his family to get his 50th. And um, yeah, hopefully we can make it special this weekend. And just yeah, just an amazing human being and you know, no guy that has a lot of voice in the team and you know, brings something to the group. So yeah. Yeah, um, I think from my side, I know Sia a very long time. Um, he was a youngster coming in at. Um, at provincial level in uh, at the Western Cape for the Stormers, so um, he played Varsity Cup and then came in at the at, at Western Province. Um, so young guy, um, charismatic guy, um, you know, had opportunities to play and he, he, you know, he grabbed those opportunities with both hands. And uh, within that whole system, he became a f fantastic leader in the squad. And obviously, you know, he t took over the reins uh, for, for for the box and. Um, you know, it's uh, if you think about it, I can't believe it's his 50th, um, you know, match as captain for the Springboks. So that is a, that's a fantastic achievement, and um, yeah, you know, hopefully there's there's a lot more, and hopefully there's a you know a lot of good things to to come from this. And okay, in French or English? In English. Okay. Uh, Dwayne, this one is for you. Uh, how was it last week? to spend the whole Ireland game <clears throat> next to your coaches in, in, in the coaching box? <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> um, yeah, I, it was, you know, I think it's the same thing what um, Coach Jacques said, uh, you know, they, they give some of the players opportunities to, to sit in team meetings, to sit in coaches' meetings. Um, you know, everyone is welcome to sit in those meetings. Um, and then, obviously, they give some of the players the opportunity to sit up in the coaching box, um, you know, to see the view or, or see the game or watch the game in a different angle. Um, also, to see how the how the coaches look at the game, and and obviously, you bring a different perspective to to the game as a player, um, you know, because you're thinking differently as a player than than obviously the coaches um, do at that specific time and. Uh, I think for us, that's that's a nice dynamic. Um, you know, we learn a little bit. Um, they also see how we might might think about the game um, going into uh, you know crunch time, maybe last five or ten minutes, especially in that game. 
um, we had our opportunities, but um, and and I kind of you know we kind of knew what what we wanted to do and what we wanted to achieve, and um, so it it's it's nice to be up there. Um, it's also daunting to be up there, but um, uh, I actually enjoyed it. It was it was good fun. But you you'd rather be on the pitch tomorrow? Oh, well, I would definitely love to be on the pitch. So that's that's the most important thing. Um, uh, that's that's what it's all about. Okay. Uh, Coach Dick Kanisoya from News24. Um, Coach Dick, you, the, the, the chat has always been controlling the controllables. Um, but when you look at the fact that Scotland are playing today and you guys will have tomorrow to play, um, does it also put you guys in a better place of mind knowing that whatever Scotland does, you just need to have to better that result? I, I, I won't lie to you, Kanye. So we don't, we don't really focus much on what Scotland is doing on the other side. Like I said to you earlier on, we don't want to, things to be controlled by other people. We want to control our destiny. You know, and uh, for us, uh, the main thing is we just think about the game we're going to play tomorrow. You know, and uh, like I said to you, uh, yes, there's a lot of things that you can calculate in if this and what, uh, what but if it doesn't happen. You know, but once again, if we can just make sure that we win the game first, I think the destiny will be in our hands. And like I said to you, it will be great if things go well for us to get a maximum points from the game, but uh, I won't lie to you. I don't think we are really focusing much on what Scotland is doing on the other side. Just talk us through having Andre Pollard back in the camp. Yeah, you know what? Uh, it's good to have Polly once again, like I've mentioned earlier on, also the, the leadership in our, in, our, in our squad. I think that is one of our strengths, you know. Uh, even if, for example, a guy like Bongi is not on the pitch, if you've got Dwayne or you've got a guy like Yeben, these guys have led the team so far in the past two seasons for us, and we always rotate amongst the players. And uh, having Hande back, it's massive for our squad, you know. And I know it's sad that we don't have Malcolm Max in, the, in our squad with his injury. But I think having Pollard, uh, it's, it's, uh, I think it will be a good boost for us. Once again, even the guys that played uh, so far for us, they've been doing very, very well. We were just unfortunate last week. I know a lot of people, they focus too much on on kicking two poles, you know, and, and Andre has done the job for us in the past, you know, in, in Japan. If you remember the game against Wales, he was at his best, you know, and then also going to the final against England, you know, that, that, that's one thing that we've learned also last week is the fact that if you're going to play against the top team in the world and you don't capitalize when you get opportunities, you might end up being on the wrong side of the scoreboard. I think that's something that we've learned. So to have Andre, you know, uh, with his experience, and we know on a good day also he can be uh, dangerous when he when it comes to his kicking. Same goes with Manny Lebok, you know. So unfortunately, these boys are all human beings, you know. Sometimes they're gonna get off days, and that's where sometimes you need a player next to you, you know, to pick you up. And I think we're gonna get a good balance between those guys now. If you take, look at the depth that we've got in the in the, in the flyoff position with Manny Lebok having Hande with his experience, Damien Velemse is still there as an option, and Faf Clerk. I think we are in a good space at the moment with the, as a team. But yeah, it's good to have Andre back. Just on the right. Uh, next set from Reuters. Duane, for you, um, I'm not sure when the last time you played seven, but the shift from eight to seven, in reality, how much of a difference is that uh, in the game? Mm, there's not much at all. Um, well, it's, you're part of the loose, loose trio uh, or the back row. Um, Obviously, I still stay, kind of stay in my same position. Uh, I'm not at the back of the scrum, I'm just on the side. So, uh, yeah, it's not a big shift, uh, just a change of number. Um, but, yeah, looking forward to to maybe play, just, just play a game with Jasper Visa. I've never played with him, um, only a little bit against him. So, um, yeah, looking forward to, to see, um, you know, how we how we pack down. And obviously, with CR, with CR starting, so uh, it could be a good one. Uh, morning, Nick Mullins, ITV. Uh, uh, Dwayne, another question for you. Just getting back to the um, the role as a as a, a coach, uh, a, a, co a couple of weeks ago, you touched on it. But what what were the things that maybe surprised you most of all, sitting there and listening to to what the guys were were, were going through? I think the biggest thing is just sitting you sitting there and you can't do anything. Um, when you're on the pitch, you, you know you you're still part of the game and you can you can. You can still make a change or um, or change the outcome of the game. Um, at the top, it's it's difficult. You've 
you give the players the info, what you want and what you see and, and things like that. But then, well, then it's still up to the players on the field. So um, I think that's a that's a difficult part of, of of being a coach. You know, you 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 can't you can't do anything um, uh, to the outcome of the game. So um, it's it is quite daunting up there. But um, uh, it was also enjoyable. But uh, again, like I said, I, I would still prefer to be on the on the pitch um, as much as I can. But do you fancy it long term? Is is that your next career move? Do you think? Well, you never know. <laughs> 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 okay, you've got time for two more questions. More one here. Yeah, there's going to be a follow-up asking if he's got aspirations to be a coach one day. Okay. If you asked me this a, a couple of years ago, I would mm, would have probably said no. Um, and I think now, you know, there's you're sitting there and you've, you know, you always want to give. If you when you finish, you're gonna you're gonna think like you want to give back to um, to to the younger guys. You know, you. You've got Kane in here, and well, I, I'm not a back, but there's there's obviously some things that uh, that you can still give to younger guys. So, you know, if if the opportunity arises and 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 there's a possibility, then I would love to stay in the game. Um, I would love to, you know, to to help younger guys and younger players. And you don't know where where, where life takes you, but um, yeah, I, I love this game, and you know, it's it's difficult to step away. Um, yeah, once you've been in it for f for this long, you know it's 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 been 19 years playing professional, so it's it's been a good ride, and uh, it's not the end yet. So hopefully, there's there's more to come. Okay, final question at the back there. Uh, Kenan, this is for you. Um, I know you've played a lot at 13 and your high school career, but mostly for provincial uh, unions and for the Springboks, it's been at wing. How? Difficult or easy is it for you to just slot back into that third team mode at test level, especially heading into a World Cup and in a World Cup for the for the Springboks? And for you, long term, is that where you see your career going as a 13 for the Springboks? Is that where you want to kick on for both the Springboks and the union levels? Yeah, uh, obviously for me, 13 was uh, the position I played at school, and obviously a position I loved. You know, I fell in love with the position, and I think. I was wishing that that's where what I would, would end up, and um, that was the talk with the Bulls as well. With Coach Jakey, obviously, mentioned to me that like I would play 13, but yeah, wing was was where the opportunity came, and I, I took that with both hands. And yeah, playing wing in, at the, the Springbok setup now, and then yeah, Wales game. Coach uh, Coach Jack came up to me and said well, he wants to run me at 13, and it was obviously a big shock because I don't think uh, it will, we will put a trigger on that one. And then Monday. Monday before the All Blacks game, I see my name on 13 on the on the on the sheet, and obviously I was blown away by that. But you know, obviously got a lot of confidence from him. You know, he obviously is the, the the head of the defense, and 13 is a position where the defense, where the, the 13 runs the defense, and obviously got a lot of, of of talk with him and confidence in in that position now, especially now with now being more 30 now in in the camp. You know, I'm getting a lot more reps. I'm getting a lot more game time under my belt, and now obviously with with Andre and and and. Andre inside of me it obviously gives me a lot of confidence to 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 play in that position and yeah hopefully hopefully this is the position where I stay and yeah. Okay, thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, South Africa. That concludes the Eva match briefing. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Hello, guys.